Hey guys, happy Resurrection Day. We are the Priors and uh, we just want to play some worship for you. And before we get started, I just want to give you some encouragement. Uh, you know, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, it talks about the rapture of the church and, and Jesus coming to get the bride, which the church is the bride. We are the bride and we are to be ready. And it says at the end of that, that verse in verse 18 to encourage each other with these things. So we're to be encouraged of Jesus is coming. We're to be encouraged in the signs that we're seeing right now. There's signs everywhere. I mean, anyone who studies the Bible can clearly see that there's craziness going on right now. And there's signs in the heavens. There's signs uh, all over. You look at the, the coronavirus and what's going on right now with that. Everyone being locked in their home. I mean, around the world, this has never happened that I can think of, where you're locked in your home. Uh, not locked, but you're basically told to stay in your home. And, you know, this is unprecedented stuff. And you look at all the things that are going on, the earthquakes. I mean, we just had an earthquake in Idaho, of all places, a 6.5 in Boise. And then you have uh, plagues of locusts flying around. You have these storms and these signs, the eclipses in the sky. I mean, just read in... Uh, Matthew 24, it speaks of these things. Read in Ezekiel, it talks about the signs of the end. And so I just want to encourage you guys, just read your word and you can see that the signs are here. It seems like Jesus is coming for his church soon. Um, and I want to be ready. The Bible talks about it over and over and over to be ready for his return because he's going to come at any time. There's nothing that needs to happen for Jesus to come and get his church. And so I want to encourage you guys to be ready. Um, in fact, I heard it said that it's been talked about eight times more of his second coming than of his first coming. Eight times more. So that's that's quite a bit more. And I want to share some verses with you. Uh, it's a couple of, of about being ready. Hosea 10, verse 12, it says, Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes to rain righteousness on you. Matthew 24, it says, therefore, be on alert, be ready, be looking for his return. So we're to be looking and studying the word and thinking like, yeah, this is happening. That's happening. It looks like he's coming. Be on alert. He doesn't want us to just sit around and watch TV and then be like, all right, it's time to go. Be ready. Be bold. Pray for courage to tell people about Jesus. Mark, it says, take heed, keep on alert. Mark 13. And Luke, it says, be dressed in readiness. Again, in Luke 21, it says, but keep on alert at all times. Romans, it says, do this knowing the time. What time are we in? We're, we're in the time of his return, I believe. I think he's coming soon. And even if he doesn't, even if it's 100 years from now, I want to be ready. I don't want to sit here and, and just wait and hope that someday it comes. And maybe it will, maybe it won't. I want to be ready. So I just want to encourage you guys. Um, and then in... 1 Thessalonians, it says, So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. So I just want to encourage you guys with those verses and uh, to study the word. Love your family. Time may be short. I really believe it is. A lot of Bible studying pastors believe and Christians believe that the end is near. Uh, if you don't know Jesus, I just want to encourage you, surrender your life to him right now because you don't want to wait till tomorrow because it could be too late. Jesus can come right now. And I just want to encourage you, if you don't know him, surrender your life to him. Just ask him to forgive you of your sins. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins because today he rose from the dead. 2,000 and something years ago, Jesus rolled the stone back and he rose from the dead declaring to be God. He has power over death, and we now have life because of what he did on the cross. And just believe in that. Confess it with your mouth and believe in your heart. So I want to encourage you to do that. And with that, I want to sing a worship song for you guys. And uh, just worship the Lord Jesus with us. And uh, here we go. You ready, Sean?
bones to leave All these longs to see Once again Bless you guys. Have a wonderful Resurrection Day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>